They weren't paying any attention to you, Jason. Make them remember. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for checking out 13 on 13, your monthly Friday the 13th news update for January of 2018. Happy New Year's, everyone. And with a new year comes a new look and a new design, but still the same badass content. And we got a great show for you this month, but before we get started, I'd like to take a quick look back at some of the horror movie greats that we lost in 2017. Only 13 days into the new year, and we're already on a roll. We are very happy to announce today, January 13th, 2018, the release of Friday the 13th Part 3, The Memoriam Documentary. Now, it's an amazing film that's going to take a look at the life and times of Richard Broker, one of the more popular Jasons, as well as the film itself, Friday the 13th Part 3, and the amazing 3D that went into it. It's, it's just a great, great film. Everyone has been waiting for it. We've actually had a few of our viewers and subscribers contact us in the past asking about it, and now it's here today. It's here right here on the channel. So huge shout out to Sean Richards, Vincent Dasani, and our good friend Nathan Barker over at the Return to Camp Blood podcast for hooking us up and making this possible. Guys, if you are a fan of Friday 13th, or especially Part 3, you have to watch this video. Links are all below in the description. Make sure that you share and get the word out there so we can get more of these made in the future. Friday the 13th, Part 3, The Memoriam Documentary. Streaming right now on the Friday 13th Network. And sticking with film news, just a quick reminder, guys. The Friday the 13th all-new Blu-ray box set is coming out next month, February 6th. This is Part 1 through 8 on Blu-ray. I think last month we got the dates mixed up, so shout out to our awesome viewers and our awesome subscribers. Awesome! I I don't even need to do all of this. I think I could just have an all-black screen and just talk, and I think all of you guys could just do the updates in the comments. So, you guys kick ass, and as always, thanks for watching and keeping me straight with all the Tates. Friday 13th Blu-ray box set coming your guys' way next month, so make sure you guys go and get that. And everyone's favorite Friday the 13th fan film, Never Hike Alone, is looking to be launching some crowdfunding for physical release, a physical copy, Blu-rays, DVDs, and even VHS of the film. If you check out the film's Facebook page, you can get more details on this, and of course we'll bring them your way as they come in. Looks like it's going to be starting around in March, but if you haven't seen Never Hike Alone, I, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure that you... Watch it after this video and after the part 3 doc because it is just a beautiful fan film, uh, amazingly shot, great, great acting, picture, story, the ending, the cameo, oh my gosh. Check out Never Hike Alone, and if you would be interested in having a Blu-ray or a DVD of it in your collection, then be sure to check out the crowdfunding starting up here in March. Never Hike Alone, amazing film, cannot say enough good things about it. And finally, some Friday the 13th video game news. It's a little later in the video than normal, but we don't really have any this month. Uh, they actually released a huge update about two days after our video last month, as they always do, and we're usually behind on the Friday the 13th video game news because there's so much of it. But I would like to report what they released last month because it's huge. They actually raised the level cap to 150. We got a new playable character counselor, Shelly, and a Virtual Cabin 2.0, which is a whole nother game in itself. Guys, if you have not completed the Virtual Cabin, there's like three rounds of it, make sure you do it. Get a game guide, watch a video, it's, it's worth it. You have to complete the Virtual Cabin 
bunch of great Easter eggs, and actually, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but um, what's coming soon, what we have to look forward to in the game, which is kind of an update, really, in itself. So, that's huge. But if that's not good enough for you, we finally, finally got our single single player single player our offline bot so anybody that doesn't have internet connection or doesn't want to play online you can actually be Jason and kill counselors now Now the counselors really aren't that smart you know the AI needs a little work they're running into walls but uh, some of them are kind of tricky and I have actually had some of them start the car and try to repair the phone on me so it's getting better um, offline bots available which just makes Friday 13th the game even better it takes it to a whole nother level guys so Huge update last month, and we can now wait for more updates to come our way. We're actually expecting it any time. It's usually like right after I release this video, so. And lastly this month, a little convention news for you guys. And we expect tons of convention news to start pouring in as the season is just starting with the beginning of the year. But this one was huge, and we had to mention it. Monster Mania. Now they're doing huge things. They already had a four person Jason in costume photo op. And now they've added another one. We're getting Ted White, first time ever in costume photo op. You guys are going to get five costumed Jasons. Ted White, first time ever, as well as CJ Graham, Steve Dash in the Sackhead Jason, Ken Kinzinger from Freddy vs. Jason, and my personal favorite, Kane Hodder. Go ahead and please check that out. I'm so jealous of anyone that gets that. Uh, they they need to just go ahead and get Tom Morgan and Derek Mears and just, just do the damn thing. So. Monster Mania, always amazing. Always an amazing lineup. And uh, this year is just, just blowing us away. Five costume Jason photo op. You big dildo. Eat your fucking slop. It's now time for our monthly sticker giveaway, Ethel Stew. Every month we ask you guys a question, comment below, and we'll take your guys' name, throw them in the pot, and Tiffany here will pick out our winners. Our winners will receive a Friday 13th Network coloring book sticker mailed right to your doorstep. And guys, we've had a lot of fun with this in the past few months, and last month was no different as we asked, what is the best rack in Friday the 13th? And we had a lot of fun. A lot of people hit us up. Uh, great response from our viewers. We had people typing us on Facebook. But I think it's safe to say that Deborah Voorhees, Tina, from Part 5, A New Beginning, kind of ran away with it. Uh, we had a lot of good people. Um, Violet, Amanda from the remake, but mainly Deborah Voorhees. So congrats to Deborah. And this month I spelled your name right, so <laughs> rock on for that. Tiffany, whenever you're ready, Give us a big old helping of Ethel's stew, and we'll choose our winners for this month. And there it is, this month's winners. Congrats. If you see your name, go ahead and hit us up on social media with your addresses, and we'll get your stickers mailed out right away. Guys, this month's question, we want to know, what is your favorite Friday the 13th intro? Do you like the original, the Friday 13th logo, breaking the glass? Maybe you like the smoke in 3D from part 3, the 007 from part 6, or hey, maybe you like hanging out in Times Square with Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan. Comment below and let us know your favorite Friday the 13th intro, and we'll see you guys next month for Ethel Stew. You big dildo, eat your fucking slop. And that's your Friday the 13th news update for January of 2018. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out the Friday 13th Part 3 Memoriam Doc streaming right here on the channel today. See you guys next month. Thanks for watching. Now this is a fucking, oh man, I was so pumped and I messed up. <clears throat> Fuck! Oh my god. Let me, let me smooth out my forehead. It's now time. <clears throat> <clears throat> And every
everyone's favorite fuck and everyone's favorite fan film never and everyone's favorite fuck dude why am I stumbling here it's dumb when you splat it just splat it on the floor and kind of do it slow ready Fuck that sticker! Huh?